Hi everyone, this is Yu Zheng Da. I'm from Taiwan, and this is my first time to be like a part of a Berlin International Film Festival. So please welcome <laughs> to Foreign Expanded to see my work practice in life. I used to stay here for three months for short residency, art residency. As an artist? As an artist. To, to work here? To work here and I stay, just enjoy my life. Okay. <laughs> so no pressure, no yeah. other things, just, yeah. Well, I guess that can also be very good for the creativity to just go yeah. around without any pressure and to just soak up the city. Yeah, yeah because that time I was just uh, finished my solo show in the museum, so it's like a whole floor. Yeah. Uh, it shows like um, 13 pieces from my, like in five years. So after that, I start want to like uh, trying to move on, like not using, you not just use what I, I usually do. So this project actually is more like the next step. Actually, it's, fr it's from, I mean, it's more like after Berlin. Okay. So, I mean, how I treat like, or how I use image and uh, how I think about the moving image give me some different ideas. Mm -hmm. Maybe not, not really re reflect, but it gave me some idea to do something different. Mm -hmm. So practice and I probably some, but, some part of it. But you also reflect a lot on the art world in your movie. True. Mm -hmm. You also mentioned Berlin. I mean, Paris, London, Berlin, the big European cities. You yeah, talk about art in the cities yeah, and art in the cities, and also in because it's very local context. Mm -hmm. Because the script actually are from. I mean, I work. I collaborate with a curator, and um, uh, so we made the script together. So it's more like how we think about. I mean, artists should do like apply a grant, apply some award, and join a biennial season. So it's very art circle stuff. Mm -hmm. And uh, but after Taipei, I show in Shanghai Biennale and here. So I get a lot of like feedback. Actually, the local context, the story can reflect with all like everywhere like mm -hmm. because it's real it's like a reality that the artist should face mm -hmm. so and also i use a kind of a reality show way to to do the film because we we're not uh the all actors they are not professional actor they are people from our field mm -hmm. well a reality show but at the same time you show all the time that it's not real i mean you can see the cameras in between you see the true 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 in true. front of green screen so you also break this yeah i also break this and show you the different layers and how we edit and it's also my first time i edit or i edit the film with the editor Normally, I don't need editor to edit my video because it's more like video work. Yeah. This is more like something between film and the theater because the projection you see is like like people size. I mean, because it's like three channel. Mm. So um, when I show in Taipei, I treat more like a theater. So every twenty minutes you will play again, so they have the timetable. But in the group show, definitely no because people will miss it. Yeah. So <laughs> there's another logic to show that work. Mm. Right. But, but also in a very I think the setup of the people because everyone yeah. in this in well in this movie basically was working in art. True. Which is rather unusual in a whole family. True. And the script is like that and the people they are not playing themselves. They are playing someone they can imagine. Mm -hmm. So it it gives the the non-professional actor a distance to act mm. and also bring the ability because if you I, I just ask him to play themselves they will be a bit awkward yeah. because what should I say or what should I not to say but if like you are a, an, a gallerist and like my galleries, she's a part of it. And she played a museum director, very conservative mm. museum director. She has the imagination how she faced the, the museum like that. So she can pretend that. So give them the distance to, to mm. act, I think. And why did you choose a reality show then? Because I'm really like a reality <laughs> show. <laughs> okay. <laughs> because, yeah, because uh, my previous work, uh, some kind of the sense of mm, like do they, I mean like my previous my, my previous works 
uh, some sometimes like uh, I set up a kind of a rule like uh, uh, like I, I do the project with the foreign people they don't speak Mandarin mm -hmm. but I stand behind you and I, I talk behind you but you you are the one look at the camera and I repeat what I'm saying mm -hmm. so actually you cannot 100% de deliver it or even 50%, but it makes the differences and it's more like a reality because the people they are not to act something, but they are, because of their mistake, they're trying to bring something more like real. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I see the point. What I was just thinking about is that you also play with language in this one because yeah. you also have someone coming who speaks only English and, and at the same time they can one. communicate somehow. Yeah. And also there is a Japanese collector, but mm -hmm. he, he play like art critique and he doesn't have a line to communicate with people. Mm -hmm. He just have four lines. Actually, the four lines are from some philosopher. Yeah. So it's like out of context. Also, I point out like the art critique, sometimes in, they, they are in their own world, but I also put in a, in a, in a family relations, like uh, he's, he is someone's husband, mm -hmm. but like outsider and different nations, something. I mean, and also like in the end, the uncle, he is the British. Yeah. So true, like, yeah, playing with the, the translation. And also you see the people they are acting because I show, uh, I use the, 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 the white paper to write down the script because they don't have time to do the rehearsal. Mm -hmm. So they also they are following something to be their languages. So mm -hmm. I'm de dealing with this kind of structure normally. So we basically see them practicing True. and they are practicing, well as the title says, practicing life, life in a way, the reality. Yeah. Reality and the life is, for me, it's not just the life like, um, it's their life, but it's also for the audience. They are, they are not watching a very standard or very fluent like a narrative film. They are the people they are still acting. So it's also reflect about the life and the live show that about the time, mm. right. And you also have one character in there who comes back from Europe, um, yeah. the son, together with his boyfriend. True. Why did you choose to put that in there? Um, why I choose to put that? Is it part of, of life reality in Taiwan? Is it that why it's in there? Of, or is it more reflecting on the art reality? I think probably more like the art reality. Like, uh, mm, so when we, we are trying to make up the, the story, we have to put some, you know, some character with some character, how they combine means what. So I think, but just my personal like, if in, a, in, a, in an interesting drama, like in a very traditional family, maybe there is a, another, you know, another, uh, another part needs to be pointed out. And also it's in an art family. So definitely that part is very normal, mm -hmm. not normal, but I mean, everybody can, can, ah, I don't know the word. Can be accepted? Yeah, it can be accepted. It's not weird. Okay. True. So homosexuality in general is also in society accepted. You mean Taiwan? Yeah. I think for my generation, probably yes, and especially like Taipei, yeah. it's very big cities. Big city, open city, like uh, gay-friendly city. So not really have a problem with that, but uh, but definitely for the old generation, like my. Like, like grandmom or grandfather, their generation, maybe it's not that common. And um, so, I mean... And how was it for the actors? Because you also have the scene in there where they reflect on it, <laughs> where he says, well, when I, when I touched him, I yeah. was really in character. Yeah. And I wondered if this interview was actually part of the character too. Or if that True. was okay. a real interview? That was the inter real interview. Mm -hmm. So, and uh, I have to say those ca those those actors like one he is uh, no he is a salsa dancer and also an artist. Another he is an art critic, but they both are straight. But I told them that they should be a couple. Mm -hmm. So they are really into the character. I'm so surprised that like I. 
and one of them he's my professor so <laughs> I, I don't know how can they deliver that but I mean because you set up this kind of like stereotype for the and we are a soap opera so they have a imagination mm -hmm. so they can get into the the character easily like uh, pre, like pretending like uh, gay I don't know and also um, uh, after the play, actually, I do the interview with all of them because I want to get some, not about feedback, it's about how they think about the acting and think about the, the script. These are two parts of the project. And uh, I mean, for them it's not difficult because in Taiwan, they're, I mean, Gay issue is not really a problem, so they know they know some artists, okay, mm -hmm. and then they often collaborate together. So it's not like uh, because I know some Asian countries a bit different as Taiwan. So mm -hmm. and um, well, so this script was actually just to get back to that and yeah. uh, right. So there was actually no real script for what you did, but also that was practicing along, and you filmed that too. So even. True. That was not really scripted, but they just got the role and the character and then they had to act along. Yeah. But at the same time, they had some scripts about what they were supposed to say, right? True. So that was the only thing? Or that was the only thing and uh, yeah, that was the only thing like make the narrative and make the shooting yeah. can be complete, the part. And uh, the interview, um, is we just leave some some question what we want mm -hmm. to get, not the quest. That's not specific question. It's more like a, a general question because we want to. <laughs> it's like a really reality show because it's two part. Some one part is like what happening like you know to yesterday, and then how feel you, how do you feel about him his singing or something. I mean this kind of thing, mm -hmm. and the interview part is like trying to connect the re real. Or something is happened, and it happened. Happening something um, can ref can connect with the interview. How can I say that? Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, but also there again, there is this well, this gap between what is artificial and what is real again. True. I mean that also com is combined in arts. Yeah, it's combined in arts too. Okay. Right. And. Well, it is reflecting a lot on art, and has it been? Sh it has been shown already. It has been. This is not the first time. No. How was it perceived? How did artists perceive this piece of art that reflects yeah. on art so much? So it's quite. I mean, it's quite interesting. Like, uh, because my, I think, uh, because my my work or my style, so I I make it very light, very light way to point out some serious or direct question. Mm -hmm. So for them, or my personality can, can let them to release some part of direct, but make, they, they enjoy it, but they also have to point them, put themselves into, into the, the art world. Mm -hmm. What's the, what's the, like, uh, our reality is, or how they think the script might, you know, what's the, what's the script, or, uh, wants to describe is someone or some Chinese style stuff, this kind of thing. And uh, so the response, I think, is quite, is a lot. I mean, <laughs> a lot means like, um, because it's, in the beginning, it's the contemporary art stuff, mm. the video showing the museum. And uh, in the museum, an artist, normally, we do our stuff alone. And this this project, um, when I show, I, I say it's, it's a kind of collaboration. So it's trying to make the artist as just a part of it, because you are trying to collaborate. And I, I try to make the their own. Uh, I mean, each of the character has their own position, mm -hmm. and it shows out. And so I'm not the only one control everything. Everyone is a part of the things. So there's some articles describe about this kind of collaboration become an artwork. Mm. It's not just like a director or the, the only uh, 
uh, artists. Mm -hmm. And also some are more criticized about the art system, definitely. Mm -hmm. But I think everybody enjoy the <laughs> funny part of it most, mostly. But, well, this is obviously an artificial part, or there are yeah. artificial parts in it, but in how far, or does it reflect the reality of the art world at the same time? I mean, is the art world as artificial as it is shown in, definitely, in this? Definitely not, because it's okay. scripted, right? Yeah. Because it had too many up. But I mean the characters and so forth. Did you have the feeling that they were taken from reality? That they are sort of real? Or mm. would you also say that this is like a bit over the top to show the point? The script itself is over the top to show itself, definitely. Okay. And uh, but some part, I mean, what we know about the world actually is full of stereotype. The stereotype make you to believe something. Mm. So I mean, the people they're trying to to act, actually they, I definitely think they have their own idea or stereotype about the character they are trying to act. So I I don't know because the script is itself is like that, but how the, the actor they're trying to pose or to add something is something I cannot control. So that is more, more most interesting part of, if I just set up the game, but I did, they are non-professional non, non actors. Mm. What they perform probably will bring something more than what I expect they delivered. Mm. And those stereotypes also return in the gay couple, I would say. True. Yeah. Helps a lot. <laughs> <laughs> um, you're, it, you premiered already here at the festival, right? Yesterday at the yeah. Academy of the Arts, right? Yeah, yesterday was the opening. How was it? How was the opening? It's crowded. <laughs> and but it's too much people and uh, I not just stand stand like uh, in front of my work because it's like you know it's very dark mm -hmm. exhibition space so yeah it's here it's different I mean German <laughs> but what, what do you mean here it's different I mean it's quite yeah it's it's very interesting experience like um, I uh, like the art opening normally is not like this because it's interesting like German people it's weird I mean just, this, uh, <laughs> just tell us <laughs> no 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 it's, it's just uh, it's just yeah it's so very it's, it's different from Taiwan from, from Taiwan or the States okay but because what, what is because different? people are more more quiet right Okay. And uh, everybody come like uh, with just with people, and it's good. I mean, it's good because it's like you will see like a s small circle, small circle. Yeah. And they enjoy the show, but maybe the people they don't know they they not tr not that like the stage uh, very socialized and like like to connect. No, here it's more easy. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, in a good way. It's like that, and and in, in another in another way, it's like too many people <laughs> <laughs> comes. So <laughs> I feel very. But I, guess, but I guess it's also nice for you to see that so many people are interested. True, so. yeah. Okay. Well, I hope you enjoyed the festival. Yes, I wish I will. you a very good time in Berlin. Thank you. And I thank you very much for the interview. Thank you.